I wish I got to play twice in a row on stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last, last winner's quarters match, first winner's semis match. It makes sense. All right, so Big Mac versus Jimmy. Oh, this is best of five. Right, I forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It is best of five. Mm -hmm. Like, because so, yeah, it is in semis now. Yeah, we, we do run over to best of five for top six. Top six, yeah. Okay, we'll see how this goes. So far, Big Mac not losing any of his momentum. He is out of the gate, super hard. Yeah, he was. He definitely <laughs> looked super dominant in the last set we saw him. And, uh, yeah. But Jimmy might be feeling a little, a little relieved right now. Some of the pressure of uh, almost losing his sets off his back. So we'll yeah, I mean, but then again, like it's also like the pressure of losing that set is off of his back. But at the same time, you literally you don't get a break. You got to play your yeah. next match like right away. That. Like, it can be really mentally draining right here. Right. Yeah, he's he's gone. Like, for some players, they, they like, want to stay warm and stuff like that, which is, like, understandable. Like, sometimes you just catch, like, yeah. some stride, and you're just, like, playing match after match after match, and yeah. it's, like, yeah, you like that sometimes. But, yeah, obviously you do want to break Like, I feel like you like that when it's at lower bracket and when you know, like, you're playing confidently where right. you're not going to... It definitely depends surprise. on the situation, yeah. At, when it gets into high bracket where you're, like, having back-to-back -back matches that are going to be... Really really like high level and you just know that the opponent's like oh like he beat you to brownies like with a huge comeback and now immediately he's like okay you gotta play big max like oh god i gotta play big right. mac right away he's gonna be going like a million miles an hour and i gotta be able to keep up with him after that like set so it's yeah definitely looking like he's moving in a million miles per hour right now pretty yeah. big lead oh okay that exchange Ooh. oh okay it's always it always looks so cool when like clouds just like throw out the down air and like it perfectly like times the jump and they just spike him. It's also really good for just like fading back or covering roll and like or just covering neutral getup. Yeah, I'm gonna find the up air there on the bouncing yeah. fish on stage. And it also is do it also was really important because now he got back his limit. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we saw before, Cloud definitely has one of the, the best comeback factors in this oh, game. Oh, yeah. So. I mean, we, we saw it last set. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, we, we saw it last set. So this is nothing to mess around with. If Big Mac wants to uh, give himself a good buffer with that game one victory, he needs to seal out the stock now. Yeah, we know Jimmy's capable of winning these games, so we'll oh, see yeah. We'll see if he's going to do that here. Neutral get up, punish to the grab, another grab. Yeah, and he's honestly looking poised to win this game, too. Just keeping it with the ledge, ooh, messes up that trump. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the Loses slow the ledge trump, it's been, it was working for him earlier, but now it's not working so much And has anymore. his jump still. All right, smart, ooh. Oh, you got caught slipping. You got caught trying to drop from the ledge, and you just got to be, yeah, like. He, he, he was looking so good for a while, too, and then just after that, like, missed trump attempt, it kind of all went downhill. But, yeah, game one, going to Big Mac. A little closer than it initially looked like it was going to be. Yeah. Still. It looks like we're going back to town. One, go! <laughs> Another strong start, it seems. Yeah. <clears throat> like, that's one thing. If Big Mac starts strong out the gate, then he usually carries that momentum for a majority of the first stock. Like, he's just... His offensive pressure is just so nuts. His ledge pressure, like, especially today, is kind of insane. He just yeah, not like, look at all off the ledge. He, he was covering both everything from below the ledge and above the ledge on the platforms, and that's... That's dead. Like, he basically just zeroed to death him here. Just, he's... He's going off. He got him to the ledge at, like, zero. He really wants them draft points. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. He just like he got a combo, put him in the ledge, and like took his stock. That was that was kind of brutal. And this is looking a lot like last game too. We'll see if Jimmy can bring it back to the extent that he did last game. But uh... tries to down air to cover that ledge, but not gonna do it. And Big Mac is just not letting Jimmy breathe at all. Finding way back in, and he has limit back, so Jimmy now has the opportunity to maybe get some work done. Yeah, we'll see if he can, like, kill him right now. 
I'm it's noticing that that's one thing that Jimmy has been capitalizing on by the ledge is that any time that Big Mac has been getting the uh, neutral get up, it's just always been like instant reaction, grab, yep. forward throw, just getting stage control. Yeah, it gets like an extra 10%. Yeah. Although I feel like there's some, st if he's like calling that out so much, I feel like there's something else that he probably can be doing. Like to F tilt like kill percents or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, cross yeah. Cross slash yeah. even. Like he's established that he's calling out that option every single time. And it looks like it's reactionary too. So I think that maybe starting to mix up stuff like that in his gameplay will help him out, especially if you if it's like the situation where he can take the first stock, because like that's huge momentum wise. So I think that's one thing that he can definitely do to adapt is to start doing that to maybe try to get some at least momentum behind him in these games. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he's able to implement that game for you. Like I definitely yeah. agree. It just uh. I think part of it might be like if you if you like miss time a punish on a neutral getup, like the most common thing the other person's gonna do is like shield there. So even if you miss time like your grab on the neutral getup and like they put up shield, it doesn't matter because like a grab beats shield. That's how Smash works. But yeah, he could definitely be getting more off of those. I agree for sure. Because he does have the read, but it's not the yeah. Best oh, punish. okay. So. A bit of a different start. It's now different. It's now Jimmy that's in the percent lead and starting all the offense, and Big Mac kind of playing off of the back foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely something we haven't really seen for the past few games against Big Mac. Big Mac just kind of looked explosive at the start of the last few games he's played. Is he dead? No, okay, no, he had, no, he he had limit. limit. Barely, but. Yeah, he was he was getting limit for a majority of the first stock because uh, like that's one thing that a lot of people kind of sleep on is that you know you, that's it's more there's more than one ways to get limit like as long as you're just doing stuff like taking damage giving damage you know playing the game you're slowly but surely building up that limit charge yeah and like things like that like he threw him off stage and then he charges limit and you can just basically yeah. you can instantly cancel it so you it's it's easy to charge it. All right, so Jimmy with the uh, first, I feel like the first stock lead of the uh, entire set. Yeah, I, I think so. First, like, game that's been, like, competitive from the get-go. Yeah. Because other, other two were not, they were very commanding from the get-go. So. Try to edge guard that, and dash attack covering Jimmy by the ledge. Going a little bit too okay. low, and that's really unfortunate. Yeah, not gonna make it back there. Jimmy is still in a position of the lead, but Big Mac with Rage, he can definitely bring this back and close it out with a 3 0. Oh, down right. till that's a couple forward airs for a punish. But Big Mac has him at the ledge here. Misses the reaction there, though. Something that's been pretty rare today. The startup frames of neutral are just dislodging. Uh, anytime I see clouds land with that, I'm just like reminded of how low-key good the frame hit on that <laughs> move is. If like if you're landing from the back where the neutral just comes out, I'm just like, wow. That that really is kind of a start <laughs> quick starting move. Like I like you never really think about it. Alright, covers that tech roll. Getting something started here. We'll see if he can get any more. Trying to play this passive game of footsies. That was <laughs> oh, Big Mac. Big Mac gave it a little bit of groan. Like, come on, just, just give me one. It looked like he had it. The the grenade was sucking him in, but I guess just the hitbox just wasn't there to connect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the side B there was definitely a miss input, but uh, it it like it ended up he didn't get punished for it. He 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 lives to see another day. Okay, punch that down here with the needles. I like that. Jimmy's just starting to swing anytime he gets off stage Ooh, because that he been knows. A that was scary. Yeah, anytime that Jimmy's off stage, he's just knowing that he's probably gonna lose. Okay, there we go. That's gonna be it. <laughs> almost had a, almost had a resegment. An oops, a little oopsie. And Big Mac's gonna take that winner semi set 3-0, rather clean. Yeah, pretty commanding first two games at least. And but, uh, uh, you probably have to play out. the other side of Winter Semis. So yeah, uh, I think I'm playing Tyroy. But. Get. <laughs>